Welcome to Beagle Rocks. Yes, uh, interesting test today. Sinus got uh, the new Captor X from two nodes. They're not easy to get in the moment. Uh, big run on this machine. So, glad to have it here. Because I, as we know, have since long time the SIR reactive load ER. I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, but would be interesting comparing it in a way. Uh, oh, no, not comparing it. Let's test, let's play with both. So I thought I play a little with a few different settings first on the server. And to be fair, we have the same ERs in both. And the ERs are my. 69 pre-roller Marshall books, which is great. So, we tried to have nearly the same setup. It is the same setup, because it's very easy. You go in from the speaker out in the reactive load, and then with a normal cable in the sound card. That's it. Okay, let's start with the Sir. That's the A and the Marshall, the orange monster. And some four, I think, four uh, boost pedals. The very, very cool SS3 from Cornish, which is a great overdrive. <laughs> This I like very much the, the up cleaning. Great. And also good the Ionic Chiron, which is something in the Cleon territory. <laughs> Quite a little bit distorted. And the real one, the Clown Centaur, the, the mid range machine. Which works really great with a driven Marshall. Okay, for this I have uh, my friends, the Superior, the Mr. Superior. And me on base. Let's let's see.
Okay, so I tried nearly everything. I have to feel it because the big difference with all this reactive load and attenuator uh, machines is does it feel like the real amp cooking? And that's way better than it was in the, in, in the beginning. I remember when I first bought my uh, Tom Scholz power soak, uh, it was possible to, to, to have a little lower volume on stage with some 100 or 50 watt amp. And, but but uh, when you start to turn down and then even more and more, and it, it gets worse. It gets really worse, so it's no fun. Uh, it's lower volume, but doesn't sound as good. And that is very much better now with the reactive load. That's the name, because it's, uh, they try it. Don't know how the, how the different brands uh, do this, but it's possible now. So for me, since I have the Sir, I don't fight with Conrad when we play together. Oh, I want to play with the real Kevin Edno. I don't care because, especially uh, since we've got the, the own ERs, it's nearly no difference. It's, it sounds good, it's good in the mix, it feels good. That's the sir. Uh, what I can say before I make the test with the captor, the handling with the ER transfer is shit, <laughs> sorry, but it's really, really complicated. So it's, uh, first of all, uh, uh, we have 16 different caps, that's okay, but it's not easy with USB and fucking around, but if they are in the box, they stay there, that's fine. So it works. Not, not to compare with something like, like the OX, but there's a great software, and I think also, on the Captor X, is, is, you, can, you can, even with your handy, you can make the transfer, uh, the trans, not the transfer, but the decision, what, what do we take, and you can put some reverb, uh, no, yeah, or maybe some effects or uh, equalizer. This all you can do with the server. But I've, uh, I think that's okay, because that's what I want from a good cabinet. Okay, so let's play the same, or something like, this with the cape door.
Yes, it's fine. <laughs> These are great tools. No, uh, I, as I said, I didn't use anything from the things you could use on this uh, torpedo. Uh, but for me, that's enough. I don't need this messing around. I, for me, it's important that uh, the latency is okay, and that's very good. That's with all these reactive loads better than something like uh, wall of sound, because that's, that's the, 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 the version before this we had this, uh, let's say, Torpedo had also a Captor 8 that was only a attenuator, the reactive load, but no ERs. So you have to use this playing into the uh, logic, in my case, and there you have to open wall of sound. That's the uh, software version of the ER loader. But then you have to deal, had to deal with, we all had to deal with the latency, which you need a very good computer, then you can bring it down to about four milliseconds or so. But with all these new boxes, there's absolutely no latency. Maybe Konrad uh, asked me, uh, Maybe we make uh, also in this uh, case a comparison because we did it with the server once and there was nearly nothing. But uh, I'm, I'm sure that's also with the captor. No problem at all. And that's the good thing with this thing. So that's really easy. You can crank a 100 watt or a 50 watt amp, which wouldn't be possible in any other uh, situation. Uh, with neighbors or even neighbors are wide, uh, far away, they would call the police. But with these boxes, it's very easy to have really good results. And I prefer it anyway to something like software, virtual amps or even Kemper. So that's really good. Okay, then we did this. Uh, Next time, I hope soon, Konrad is here again and we will make a family live stream. See you. Yes, please, <laughs> subscribe. Yes, and buy t-shirts. The new shop is very, very good. What, well, Tom, what, what do we have in the new shop? Uh, used gear coming up next. Yeah, that's the <laughs> that will be a big chapter in the new shop. Used gear because I looked in some of my boxes. Very, 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 very. Uh, yeah, the pickups, pedals, anything, you will see. Great, great guitars. stuff. Okay, no, guitars, I don't know. <laughs> but pedals, uh, more than enough. Okay, see you.